Hey guys, I'm back for another Who Smells What collab video and today I'm going to be melting Tristan's Toffee Coffee by Kay's Scented Melts and I'm on their website right now and it says the scent notes is there's nothing better than that first cup of morning coffee this nutty buttery delicious blend of hazelnut coffee blended with a rich hazelnut chocolate glazed toffee is sure to please. Now I don't remember if I did a cold sniff on this after I got my order. I think I've oh I think I've had this since May 2019. You know, cold sniff. You know, as soon as I open the lid, I am getting the coffee aroma, but I'm not getting any type of like the sweetness from the toffee. Um, so hopefully, you know, once I get this on the warmer and it's melting, I can smell everything in unison. But with that being said, let me weigh this. Okay, so as you guys see, that's 0 0.8 ounces. Let me try to see if I can get that to 0 0.5. One of the things that I'm really eager to watch in Angie's video is that she just got this scent... I think in her recent K's order, which I think she said is like less than a month ago, or it's almost a month, but I think with her preferences, she likes to let her wax cure a little bit longer. So that being said, I'm wondering if she it's going to throw after, you know, just um, or throw to her preference, you know, after melting it within you know the first month of getting it. Let me see. I don't. That might be still too big. You know, 0.6. Let me just try to shave a little bit more off. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, I'm going to try one more and. Okay, there you go. So, we are going to be using our 20 watt old style glade hot plate warmer. Let me just move it like this. And let me position it like that. Okay. Let me turn this on and I will get back with you guys in a couple of hours. Oh, actually, let me also show you what time it is. It is 9... Oh, okay. Well, okay, it is 9.37 in the morning. Hey guys, it is one, let me see, 1.42 in the afternoon. This has been melting, I think, a little bit over four hours. And I did forget to show, but I did add the rest of the contents of the scent shot in the hot plate. And I still have the other scent shot left. And with that being said, you know, I've been in and out of my apartment throughout the time this has been melting. And I have to say that the throw for this blend is by far a vast improvement compared to the Snickers coffee, um, you know, by K's that I've melted. I think it was maybe a month or two ago. Yep, the throw for this, I'd have to say, is at a medium, constant medium. I think if I used the other scent shot and put it in my bedroom, I think it would have probably been a medium high. And I have to say that, you know, now I from what I can smell, I think the scent is starting to dissipate. And also from what I'm smelling, you know, I was assuming because, you know, it said, um, I don't recall verbatim the exact scent notes, but I remember it said something about chocolate and sweet and, um, did it say something about sugar? But I just remember it said something about sweetness and toffee. 
yeah by far I'm not getting that type of aroma um, what I'm smelling or is the dominant scent to my nose is the coffee and it doesn't smell bad it to me or to my nose it just smells like a dark roast coffee without the cream and sugar and I am getting a little bit of a hazelnut aroma you know because I am able to smell a bit of the you know I guess the nutty part of this blend but by far the coffee is the dominating scent and you know I am going to let the other scent shot that I have cure quite a bit longer because um, you know like I said compared to some of the other K case wax that I've melted and then now melting this you know letting it cure for quite a bit by far I'm going to let the other this other um, scent shot right here cure maybe another month or two and just see you know if the blend is you know more in unison and if the uh, the chocolate hazelnut toffee is able to be more prominent or if it is just the actual um, coffee part that is the dominating scent but like I said earlier in this um, video I am actually very eager to hear Angie's thoughts about this scent because I think like I said I don't remember if she's had this for about a month or less than a month so I guess you know we'll see if she says the throw is good for her or not but based off of the throw, I mean, for me, I'm not sure if I would repurchase. Um, I have to, you know, I'm going to have to save my thoughts and let the other sun shot that I have left to cure a little bit longer. Because, you know, I don't want to base it off right now. Because, you know, who knows, after I let it cure for a little bit longer, it could by far be it the preference that I like and maybe might smell a little bit sweeter which also would be more what I prefer because yeah that's that's just my nose guys so but anyways um I will catch you my next one tomorrow but I will link Angie's um channel in the description box so please make sure to go check out her video but I will talk to you guys next time but have a good day bye